the fabled prodigy. I hope you can live up to what they say about you. I really do. Hmm? Can I help you? That's how it is. Life is what you make of it. Madame? Walk blessed, friend. How about my... In the time before the Blood Moon Revolt, a long time ago. Oh, well, and through those clicking sounds, I also tell... Sure, where to? Walk blessed, my lady. Where do you need to go? Ah, there you are. Ready to go? <laughs> the scar. Well, let's put it this way. If you one day end up in a Talgalean tavern, and two six-foot-tall Arazalean women invite you into their room, you should either damn well know who they are, or make a run for it. Never heard of it? It's the capital of Araziel. At least if you ask the civilized people. Hands up. Guilty. Some rich snob had hired me back then to bring him a totem from one of the camps of the free people. 
No idea how much you know about Eraziel, but the Free People have been in conflict with the civilized people, who do worship the Lightborn for centuries now. Assassinations, blood feuds, and so on. The usual, if two sides both believe they know it all better. Anyway, obviously this job of mine originated from that feud. The totem belonged to a free tribe, and the snob wanted it in order to publicly defile it. So I got it for him. <sighs> Correct. And I... I was a little drunk, and a little so much to lonely, do, so little if you get what I mean. In any case, as you already noticed, the whole thing went down differently than expected. And of course, the totem was gone, together with all my clothing and money. I guess I had that coming somehow. That's what happens if you ask your loins rather than your head in the wrong situations. <sighs> yeah. Oh, whoa, such a cold world this is. I present you my deepest scars, you thank me with naught but mockery. Be damned, O oh impish creature. But anyway, how does the saying go? A truly beautiful face can never be tarnished. <laughs> and that's why you enjoy working with me. <laughs> yeah, I did. Why do you ask? Now, aren't you inquisitive? Let me think. I spent most of my time abroad in Kira, and also a couple of years on the Isles of Kile. Uh, and there was this mission that led me to Maiar Aranath once. <laughs> what am I, a traveling tome? I'm afraid I'm not a very good storyteller. But uh, Kira's great. The people there are so much freer in their way of thinking. There are the great bazaars, uh, the palaces of the merchant lords, and the fortress of the mages' circles. Uh, but you just have to see it for yourself someday. Oof. Different. As beautiful as the Isles are, there's always this feeling of rush. It's the customer's fault if he doesn't see the fraud. But if he does, the merchant owes him a token penny. It's bizarre, isn't it? But over there, it's common practice. Yeah, it is. I was there with a group of mercenaries. We were hired to get something from a tower in the old capital. Not a nice spot of earth, truly. There's this fog everywhere, and with every step you take, you have to be careful the swamps don't get the better of you. But of course, that's also what makes it exciting. That's a good question. I suppose in the end, it was just a hunch I had. Plus, all these civil wars in other countries didn't exactly invite one to stay. Uh, well, I guess that depends on where you're standing. And yeah, I don't eat God's tongue for breakfast, but it was always enough for a roof over my head when I wanted. And some other earthly pleasures. That's what life's all about, isn't it? Wonderful. Here, this is the place where the aged man's manor is supposed to be. Lead on. I'll follow you.
Eager to explore, aren't you? Take your time, I'll wait. You need a break anyway. Ah, there you are. Let's push on. So, puppets the bards have been singing about. Huh. Interesting to see what some people consider art. This aged man definitely knows how to make himself comfortable. I guess now it's time to wait for nightfall. We wouldn't want this guy to take the artifact, pay for it, and have us leave right away. All right. I think that's enough. Now let's see how we can get in there. These busts look interesting. <laughs> Yes? What do you want? I'm the servant, so no, I'm not. And if you're looking for charity, you've come to the wrong place. Do you now? So what could two traveling merchants dressed in rags have that might be of interest to my master? Hmm. This is the silver brooch of a seraph. Where did you get this? Uh-huh. Well then, this changes the situation. You may enter. Plus, forgive my harshness. I misjudged you. Unfortunately, Master Gages is currently playing music and will be at least until dawn. But you can make yourself comfortable in the guest room. He will see to you in the morning. Okay, that sounds good. Today we wouldn't have made it back to Ark anyway. Just try to get our report in the flying weather. Hmm. So, nice house you got here. So it's just you and your master who live here, right? People talk about him a lot. Please, but just save the small talk. You're here for business. Now follow me upstairs. I'll show you to your quarters. As I said already, Master Gages will play through the night. My apologies if his music keeps you awake, but if you want a piece of advice, listen. You won't hear anything comparable in all of Vin. Well then we'll do just that. So I take it your master's an artist, right? I saw the puppets. They're interesting. Interesting. Yes. That they are. Master Gages always says art is unique because it allows us to see what our mind doesn't want us to see. What's that supposed to mean? Well, we all have demons inside of us, don't you agree? Miser Dalvaric. Memories, truths about ourselves we've locked away somewhere in our unconscious because we don't want to confront them. True art surpasses all these barriers because it reminds us of who we truly are. Hmm. Interesting thought. All right, here we are. Make yourselves at home. I will inform you once the Master is ready to see you. Uh, by the way, call it intuition or premonition, but I somehow had the feeling we would have company tonight. 
and took the liberty of preparing a small meal. I'm afraid the meat is a little charred, but it should taste good. Now, please excuse me. I have to rest. It is late, and the day has been exhausting. Of course. Sleep well. And thanks for your hospitality. You're welcome. goes. Call me paranoid, but this all went a little too smooth for my liking. Yeah. For example, the fact that he was already standing near the gate when you rang, and that he lives with a man who's older than the Black Guardian, at least according to the legends. But, well, to each his own. Yeah. One or two hours at least. Until this servant's asleep. I've got a skin of wine with me, so if you want we could enjoy it in the meantime. I wouldn't touch this food if I were you. You could tell me about this trial while we're waiting. Or about anything, just distract me from those damn ugly puppets over there. Hmm. Interesting thought. The thing about the last moment that lasts forever. Did you know that Kyrian mentalists are apparently able to sort of become aware in their dreams? And apparently in a dream, one can exist free from time. There's a story about an arcanist who spent 1,000 years in a dream while he only slept eight hours in his waking life. But, well, that's a topic on its own. I think it's late enough for our little excursion now. Let's find that relic. There it is. Master Gaius's music that transcends all barriers. Hmm. As jolly as this. We have to find this artifact. Maybe he's hiding it in some kind of chest or a secret chamber. Let's look around.